Well, there's Steve Hart. Steve Hart's saying, well, I'm having a great time going through um, a combined video of all the trailers from the um, Super Bowl, although I didn't realize how many there were. And I just watched the screen one. They're all mostly trailers, like 30 seconds long, something like that. Teasers, I mean, like 30 seconds long. Now, okay, I watched the first screen back in the day in the cinema. I watched the other ones. Everyone was excited about them. They were great. Supposed to end at the third one. They did a fourth one a few years later, and it was good. I did a fifth one, I think, and that's what I haven't watched. I have it on DVD. I think it's... I haven't watched any films, really, post you know what because I haven't been to a cinema since 2009 March 2020 was the last time I went to the cinema um, so I haven't seen any films and I've gotten a lot of DVDs I've bought them but there's something about watching these films that I wanted to see on the big screen just on my TV I just haven't quite been able to do it because part of me doesn't want to give up on seeing them on the big screen but I've missed them so I'm sort of in some sort of denial and I've got some sort of holding process where I've just got a whole stack of films I haven't watched because Watching the, it's like admitting defeat. It's like, well, I'm, I've missed them in the cinema. I'm never going to see them in the cinema. I'm not going to the movies anymore. I don't get to go to the movies anymore, thanks to, you know, the public and how they treat a certain problem like it doesn't exist. So, I'm probably going to end up watching it on streaming, but I'm going to have to watch the fifth film first. So I ha I've not seen Jenna Ortega in the film. I have no idea what her character is. But this film is getting criticism because it is being compared to Friday the Thirteenth Part Eight: Jason Takes Manhattan. Because apparently Ghostface is running free in the city and there's scenes on a train and all this sort of stuff and they seem to, they seem to have run out of ideas and they're just going, doing Ghostface Takes Manhattan. So it looks bad on that level. But um, the trailer itself looked okay. There's a scenario where the girls are trapped in a building and they put a ladder across the windows to another and they're trying to get out while the guy's trying to break into the room and we see Gail is there and um, there's like some sort of shrine to Ghostface and... Um, it seems like it's, the story's gotten much bigger and complicated than just um, where it was at, because I don't remember where it was at in the fourth film. I just remember Adrian Brody was in it, and that's it. That's the only thing I remember about that film. I know this last film, Nave Campbell isn't in it. She was supposed to be in it. She's the star of the series, but because they're misogynists and don't respect women, they wouldn't pay her the money she deserved, and having dignity and self-respect, she said, I'm not going to do this film for you. You need me. The fans want me but I deserve to be paid right, and she walked, and I'm proud of her for that, but damn, I don't, it's like, it's not really a Scream film without her, it's like, it's like, so, you know, I will end up watching it, um, but it seems like, you know, Ghostface takes Manhattan without the actual, because Scream was one of those films where it was actually the returning cast that were the consistent, and the, the, the villain sort of changed with every film. The, the person impersonating Ghostface, because the original Ghostface dies in the first film, and then someone comes back, and you have people coming back, and it's all about um, um, copycats. So the idea that they got rid of, you know, her character, it's just, I not see how, I don't see how that's going to work. Yes, they've got other characters they've established in other films that are still in the film, like Gale and that, but it's just like, you know, Sydney's, if you know Sydney, how do you have Scream without Sydney? So I can't quite process that. So we'll see how that goes. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I have no idea. I, I can't put a trailer up for every review I'm trailing. Trailing. A re trailer I'm reviewing. But um, if I combine them all, it's going to be like 20 minutes long. No one's going to watch it anyway. <laughs> like they will. Um, but either way, I have fun talking about this stuff. I enjoy it. And, you know, as long as a couple of you watch it and tell me what you think, that's enough. But, um... I didn't realize there were this many trailers at the Super Bowl. So it's kind of exciting. It's like I'm catching up on everything that's upcoming because I haven't been paying attention. But I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.